Okay, tell us a little bit about what damage you're seeing um, around your county. Well, there are several incidents uh, that has happened starting last night about 8 o'clock, 7 to 8 o'clock, is that we had a lot of, uh, of lightning along with the water. And so we had a house that got struck by lightning that burnt. And then we had uh, the flash flood warning after that. And we got five inches of rain in a period of a little over an hour, probably right around an hour. And so it was so much water so quick that it, uh, four of our residents had to evacuate their house. And then uh, just a mu multitude of damage to roads, uh, businesses, churches, and so forth that occurred. So this was a two-phase storm. First came the lightning, and then came the water so quick and so forth. And it, it actually stretches from the western part of our county to the eastern part of the county, not only in Clinton, but Fairfield Bay was affected by it, and also in the All Red area and so forth, and south and north of here on the roads. Pretty much everywhere. So what, what have you decided to do um, as a county judge? You've we, we have verbally declared we are assessing the total dollar damage. It takes a while to get the assessment, and they give us five days to, to collect the figures. At the end of the five days, we'll submit it, and then they'll come and do their work and so forth. We're taking pictures. We're keeping track of all the materials. But it's both the cities and the county affected by this. Okay, so I, th I know it's very early. Do you have any idea of how many, how much damage has been assessed at this point? Well, I feel strong enough that to meet the threshold for our county, we've got to have at least 65,000 plus. And I feel sure we're, we're going to have at least that without any problem. I feel it will go much higher than that. And we only get reimbursement for 35%. So that's why we did it early on to get the work started and so forth. Talk to us just about the, the uh, 911 communications and uh, th that, was, that was hit by lightning, was that? It was actually the sheriff's office tire. A uh, radio tire and it got hit by lightning and it, it hit not only the tire but it hit its amplifying system and they're in the process of fixing that now and, and the 911 communication wasn't hit and we're kind of relaying through our 911 system. So what was and, the uh, result of the, that tower being hit? Is it just the radios uh, between the sheriff deputies or? Right. It's the sheriff's deputies, but we have another system that the handhelds go through the 911. So we got kind of a dual system that even though one was hit, we can rely on the other. And then what is your last question is, what's your message to people in the county if they have damage and where, how do they, what's the next step for them if they're sitting at home walking? Con contact either, if you're in the city, contact the city hall, or if you're in the county, call the uh, county judge's office We'll set them up with our OEM uh, person and so forth to handle any possible assistance and so forth.